Hey guys, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for the first time. If you're new, hello. My name is Zia and this is my channel where I do a little bit of everything. And today I'm sharing with you guys a pumpkin spice syrup recipe. Unless you have been living under a rock, you know that fall is here again. And along with fall comes pumpkin spice madness. Madness, I tell you. Everything is pumpkin spice. I, I don't like all the pumpkin spice candy that comes out. I think that's a... a, a, a no. No, no, no. There is one year I think they had pumpkin spice Oreos, and I did not like them. <laughs> for most pumpkin spice flavored things, I'm not the biggest fan, except for pumpkin spice lattes. However, I don't want to keep going to Starbucks and buying a pumpkin spice latte over and over again, simply because it costs so much money, and I don't feel like spending that every day, and I want a pumpkin spice latte every day. I'm basic, I'm sorry. So instead of me going out and getting Starbucks over and over again, I decided that I'm going to make my own pumpkin spice syrup that I can add to whatever I want, including coffee. And so here is how I made it. So the first thing you're gonna need to make your own pumpkin spice syrup is one cup of water, half a cup of maple syrup. You can use whatever kind you like. I like the fake stuff because that's what tastes best to me. Half a cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of canned pumpkin, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract that we will be adding later. Probably don't use imitation vanilla extract, but that's all I have on hand. The first thing you're gonna need is a pot. Next, you're going to add all of your ingredients except for the vanilla into said pot or saucepan, whatever you wanna call it. Next, we're going to whisk this all together and then bring it to a boil over medium heat. Now that it's boiling, we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then we're going to lower the temperature to let it simmer for another 10 minutes. Once your syrup has simmered for about 10 to 15 minutes, all you need to do is pour it into a jar or any container of your choosing. I chose to use a mason jar that I labeled. It's kind of cute. So, here we go. Let it cool and then close it up after it's... Oh no, I messed up my label. No. Anyway. Just let it cool and close it up once it's cold. All right guys, that's how I made my pumpkin spice syrup. Honestly, I think you could put this like on pancakes. You could like kind of put a thin layer of it on toast, put it in your coffee, put it in some hot chocolate, literally anything. And it's gonna, it, it tastes like pumpkin pie in a jar, like good pumpkin pie in a jar. I just tried pumpkin butter from Trader Joe's for the first time and I was not a fan, but this actually tastes like pumpkin pie like liquefied pumpkin pie that you can put over or in anything. I highly suggest it. It's great. I love it. I love it. I really, really do. So I hope you guys give this a try. If you do, don't forget to let me know down below what you think of it. I want to hear what you guys think. Throughout all of October, I'm going to be doing 31 days of Halloween. I am overwhelmed. I shouldn't have done this. I should have done 13. Somebody mentioned that to me and I didn't listen. I was like, no, I can do 31. I'm going to be good. But I'm falling behind, so, <laughs> so that's a problem. But it's okay, we're gonna work through it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in for all the Halloween videos. There's gonna be a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. So the first thing you're gonna need to make your own pumpkin spice, I, I should not move my hand in front of the camera when I do that, that's stupid. So the first thing you're gonna need to make your, why did I put my hand in there again? No, no, it's fine. You can laugh. I'll edit it out or just leave it. What is this?